Okay. Um. All right. We were over here, right? Okay. I think I'm recording, correct? Yeah. We were over here. All right. This is equal to 180. We set it to that and we solve it. We get 6x. Um, these two are alike right here. We get a negative 12 or plus a negative 12, whichever way you look at it. Same thing. Equals to 180. And then you... Um, add 12, add 12, you get 192 equals to 6x, divide by 6, you get x equals to, let's see, 3, 12, 3, 2, 32 degrees. So x is 32 degrees, therefore you put 32 into here, and therefore this is 40, and that's 40, this would be 140 because it add up to <coughs> 180. Um, multiply that. Let's see. 12, 32 times 5. 160 minus 20 is 140. Yep. That's correct. Um, just checking, making sure. Okay, now... Um, those are, I'm looking for all the degrees. This is 40 degrees right here. This is 120. I need to put the degrees sign on there for the, these little, uh, corner <coughs> angles, we call them in math. Okay, these are congruent angles, so therefore you set them congruent. So 4x minus 18 is congruent to x plus 36. Now, when they map, graph this, I mean, actually solve it, they just pretend this isn't the congruent symbol isn't there. It means the same, and same is still is equal. Okay, minus x, minus x, you get 3x minus 18, or additive inverse negative 18. Plus 18, plus 18, um, 3x equals 2. Um, 54 divided by 3, x equals to 1, 8, 18 degrees. So if you go back to 18, you put 18 in x right there, you get 54 degrees. And I'm sure if you that and then minus 18, you'll get 54 also. And that is also 54 degrees congruent to each other. Oh. All right. Same thing here. These two, they're definitely not congruent. This angle is not congruent to, let me change color so you can see, this angle here. This angle is much wider. This angle here This angle is this, and this angle is like that big. You see? This big for this angle. And this is, the other one is narrow. It's this angle right here. So they're not congruent, but they add together to make 180. So you have to solve it for 183x plus 5 plus 2x minus 30 equals to 180. Okay, so you get 5x, and these are alike right here also. So you do additive inverse plus a negative 25 equals to 180. Add 25. It's 205 divided by 5. x equals to 41 degrees. So put 41 degrees into either the pink or the blue that I highlighted. I'll do the blue. Adding this tend to be a little bit easier. No, 2 times 41. 2 times 41. You put 41 here. You get 82 minus 30. You get 52 degrees, right? <coughs> 52 
52 degrees. Okay, um, the other one has to be 100 and 128 degrees because add to 52, you get 180. Okay, now you want to find all missing angles. I think it says all missing angles. Okay, that angle is missing. So is this angle here. That's angle 52. That's angle 128. This is 128, 128. That's 52. Okay, like that. Now, this number 14. Number 14. These two are obviously congruent angles. So you put write the equation and congruent sign in between them. 3x plus 30 is congruent to 2x plus 128. A lot of people don't want to write that sign. Congruent means the same as same as equal. So minus 2x minus 2x. You get, oh no, x plus 30 equals to 128. Um, 98 degrees. X is 98 degrees. No, it can't be. It can't be that much, can it? Oh, yeah, subtract it. Can it be that much? It's 148. The equal. Oh, I think I did it wrong. 118. Hmm. I gave wrong numbers on these ones, so the angle won't work. Sorry about number 14. You don't have to do that one. Gave the wrong number. Okay. Um, I'll do the last page. Last page, I'll just do the... Okay, I'll do the first two problems, or the middle two, okay? Because they're asking here, determine the measure of all angles, show all work, then identify all pairs of alternate interior angle. They want interior angle. Okay, let's do 17. Oh, I wrote this on your paper. And I didn't write it on here. I know I did. Well, anyway, she had to find angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6, angle 7, angle 8. You had to find the measurement of them. I said this was angle 1. Why is it like that? Thank God. Okay. This is angle one. This is ang angle two. Angle three, angle four, angle five, angle six, angle seven, and angle eight. Very pretend. I hope it's I'm sure it's different than what I wrote. This is a supplementary. It makes 180 degrees, right? Supplementary makes 180. 
alternate interior angles is angle 2 and angle 5, angle 4 and angle 8. <coughs> alternate interior angle 2 and angle 5 and angle 4 and angle 8 okay and then let's see how many degrees in each angle make that this is supplementary makes it equal to 180 X, let's use another color, too many blues. X plus 32 plus X plus Okay, x equals to 60 degrees. So if x is 60, let's go back to what we know here. x is 60, then this right here, 68. If that is 68, well, 60 plus 32. Hmm, it doesn't sound right. Did I write something wrong? Oh, this is 140. That's why it's wrong. It's 170. Because I noticed it didn't add up to 180. Okay, so that's 70. That's 78 degrees. And then angle, so that's angle one. You feel in angle one is 102 degrees. Angle two is 78. Angle three, right here, is, is vertical to 78. Angle four, angle four is right here, somewhere it's congruent to this one, which is 102. And 70 is 102. Yep, that's right. And that makes 180. Okay. Okay, angle 4 is 102. Okay, vertical angle. Angle 5 is the same as 78. Angle 6 is 102. Supplementary. It's identical to that. Now 8 is 102 also. And seven is seventy-eight. Okay. These are not supplementary, they are congruent. Okay. Those are the, these two angles are congruent. Therefore, you use the congruent sign. Two X plus 90 equals to 8x minus 2x minus 2x. You get 90 equals to 6x divided by 6. Um, goes in 3, 5, 2, 1, 15, right? 15 degrees, x is 15. So 8 times 15 is 40, 120 degrees.
So this is 120. I don't know how what number I gave you. So fill in angle one. Find angle one, angle two, angle three, angle four, angle five, angle six, angle seven, and angle eight. Bryce, how are you doing with your homework? You need to read, son. So I don't know what you label here. If this is angle two, no, not less than. Angle two equals to that, and that was angle three. That equals to that. Um, then angle four, angle five. I'm pretending that I know what's on there. Angle two would be um, 120 degrees. Multiply that together. You get 120. Well, two times, what is it, 15? It's 96. Oh, oh, it's 96, and I put 90. Mistake, mistake, it didn't add up. That's why I knew. Okay, 36 is 16 degrees. Oh, my goodness. 16 degrees. Um, 48 carry, 48 carry of 4. One hundred twenty eight degrees, fifteen thirty. Just okay, ninety six divided by sixteen <coughs> divided by six. Sixteen degrees. Why does it seem right? What did I do wrong? Sixteen, right? Oh, that's because I kept fifteen. No wonder it's sixteen. Okay, that's thirty-two. Okay, now it's correct. Jeez Louise. Okay, double checking all my work. Yeah, now it's 128 also degrees for that. Okay, let's fill in. Which other one is 128 right here? And this other side of this 128 is 60, I mean 52, because 52 makes 180. So the other side is 52. 52 and then put all the angles oh I didn't mean to put it all in here put it all in on your angle side okay whatever that is anyways that's how you set it up so the back um, X in, uh, alternate exterior angles you know who they are. Those are the angles that are on the outside. I didn't write. Oh, well. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'll do these last two. These two are congruent to each other right here and right here. So you make them equal to x equals to 4x minus 120. Whereas this is supplementary, they make 180, so you write 4x plus 18 plus 2x equals to 180. Okay, you solve and fill in the rest, okay? That's how you know the difference. Solve and fill in all Put what angle one is, angle two, find all the degrees in them. Hope this helps.